Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take better photographs for your eBay listings. Um, photographs are the most important part of any eBay listing. The better photographs you have, the more likely your item is to sell, and good photographs can actually make you get even more money for an item that you're selling versus bad or poor photographs. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the very first thing you want to know when you're taking photographs for eBay is that you want your photographs to be very well lit. And preferably you want to take your photographs on a white background. Now if you don't have a white background, try to find a plain or solid background, something without much clutter in the background, you know, a lot of textures you don't want. You want a nice solid colored background. So over here today I'm going to show you kind of how I take my photographs with kind of like a makeshift photo booth. Um, you don't have to have a professional photo system when you're taking photographs with eBay to make your photographs look really, really nice and really professional. So with my photo setup, you know, I've got photography lights. You don't have to have those to get good photographs. Like I said, good lighting, natural lighting preferably, is going to be the, your most important thing here. So if you have, you know, a brightly lit room or you can even take your photographs outside. Um, but if you have photo lights, these are awesome and they help light up your images really, really well. And um, I'll drop a link down in the description below. Um, you can pick these up pretty cheap on Amazon and on eBay. Um, the investment is well worth it because the quality of your photographs is going to make you sell more items on eBay. So over here, basically I've got my white background. I've got my photo lights kind of set up like a photo booth around it. And um, you know, I've got it propped up to where the background is able to be behind it. Now my photo backdrop is nothing special. This is a white bed sheet right here. And back behind, I have a plain box. Basically what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to make a nice curved flat background, you know, that's not very wrinkled. So the light reflects and really illuminates my object that I'm photographing. So as I was saying, um, you want to try to take photographs on a white background because the search engines on eBay and Google really like white backgrounds. In fact, if you take them on a white background, a lot of times Google will pick up your listings and they'll also be put on Google Shopping as well. So that's an added bonus and more eyes that your items will get in front of versus if you were to take your pictures, you know, on a brown or a black background. Now that being said, I do like to use um, you know, bed sheets or linen, you know, different fabric, because it's really easy to clean. If this white backdrop gets sturdy, I can take it out and throw it in the wash. And then you know, when I take it back out, it's gonna look brand new and clean again. Um, some people do use photo paper when they're taking you know, their eBay listings, and that works well too, but I really like fabric because you know, it doesn't really reflect the, the light and make it real shiny. Um, and you can also clean it real easy. So about 95% of my items that I'm listing on eBay, I do list on a white background, but whenever I'm photographing a white object that you know doesn't really show up white on white very well, I will use a black backdrop to make it pop. So you can use a black sheet or a black blanket and that'll work just as well. So when you're ready to photograph your object, you're gonna take your item and I'm gonna use this iPhone for the example, and you're gonna place it on your backdrop with nothing else in the area. Now you wanna obviously um, take good photographs that are close up and from a lot of different angles. In fact, the more photographs that you have on your listing, the more likelihood that your item will rank above other eBay sellers' items on eBay. You can upload up to 12 images on your eBay listings and I try to take as many photos as I can. Even items that don't require a lot of photos, you know, I'll take as many photos as I can just to try to get that extra bump in search. So don't hesitate to use all of your photos up if possible. Okay, so now when I'm taking photos on eBay, I like to use my iPhone or you know my smartphone to take the photographs on the eBay app. Some people like to take photographs with a digital camera, maybe with a higher resolution, but I found using my phone really is quick and efficient. And you know, cell phones these days take really good photos. Um, this phone too right here, when I'm taking them on eBay, I know that there aren't gonna be any compatibility issues when I'm uploading or dropping my images onto eBay. So a lot of times I like to make my drafts on my computer and then go over to my phone, pull up the draft and take the photos inside the actual app. So once I have my eBay app open and I'm ready to photograph, I'll turn on my lights and then I'm ready to go ahead and photograph my actual listing. Now when I'm taking photographs of this item, the one thing that I do wanna make sure that I'm doing is I wanna to try to make sure that my photograph is in that one to one aspect ratio. Now if you're in the app, there is a four to three aspect ratio and a, four to, and a one to one aspect ratio and that one to one ratio is kind of the square image. Think of Instagram when you're uploading a square photo. Um, try to use that image format if you can because eBay's algorithm really loves that one to one ratio for search. So if you're using that, your items are also gonna jump up higher in eBay search ranking when people are looking for these items on eBay. And once again, if you're using square photos, Google as well will take your items on eBay and put them on Google Shopping. So when I'm ready to photograph, you know, I'll go over and I'll just take a bunch of really good photos. 
Now, one thing I wanna do is I wanna try to take photos from every angle. I wanna show any defects, any you know blemishes, or any spots on my items. Basically, think about you as being the customer. When you're photographing your items, think about what you would wanna see if you were to buy this item. You know, Get every angle of the, of the item because pictures are really what sells the item. Especially with e-commerce shopping, people can't pick up the item in person and they can't tangibly hold it. And the pictures are gonna be what actually sells your item. More than anything, more than your description field, more than your title field, more than your price, um, good photos really are truly what sell items on eBay. So make sure that you're taking time and putting effort and thought into what you're photographing on eBay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a couple of photos of this item and I'll show you what they look like when I take photos on the app with that white background, really well lit. And um, also I'll show you a really cool trick that you can use on the eBay app to even further improve and enhance your eBay photos. Now, after I photograph my items on the eBay app, there's one other really cool thing that you can do to even further tune and enhance your images, and that is actually using eBay's white background removal tool. If you're taking your, your photos on a white background already, you can still use this tool, and it'll actually take out any blemishes or any flaws in the background. If you're not taking your items on a white background, maybe even a brown or black background, if you use the white background removal tool, it'll actually take and superimpose a fake white background behind it. Now, this tool was created because, like I said, eBay's really trying to push people toward using white backgrounds. Not only are they clean and they look well, but you know, pretty much every e-commerce company out there, like Amazon, like Shopify, you know, a lot of e-commerce stores, you know, whenever you see a stock photo online, they're always on white. And for whatever reason, search engines really like that white background. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you that white background removal tool. Um, when I'm on my phone, I'll go into the app. And down here at the bottom, there is a little button that shows a picture of what looks like mountains. If I click on those mountains right there, it's gonna say remove background at the top. If I click the continue button, it's going to go ahead and use a computer generated image and take away anything that is not the background that would be white. Um, if I wanna go ahead and you know maybe go in and add something that shouldn't have been taken away, I can go and use the eraser tool and I can kind of go back in and you know either erase or go back in and kind of you know, touch up or fine tune the image to my liking. And when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And when I think it looks nice and, and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And then my photo is ready to be uploaded on eBay. So there you have it guys. Those are my tips for photographing items on eBay um, to make your items look really nice and really professional. And hopefully if you follow these steps, you'll generate more sales on your eBay store. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below and drop a comment. Um, that really helps with all the YouTube stuff, with the algorithm and helping this video out in search. Um, I'm hoping that this video can help other people that are eBay sellers learn how to um, make more sales and take better pictures. So if you can help me out by doing those things, I would really appreciate it. Um, also, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, um, feel free to subscribe down below and you'll be the first to be notified anytime I drop a new YouTube video like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned something new. Um, like I said, drop a comment down below or if you have a question, um, write it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day and good luck selling on eBay. Bye everyone.